Hello there. I can see from my web stats that a lot of you are throwing yourselves into TGO planning with some real gusto. Uh, thank you, those of you who have uh, um, made comments on my blog or on the YouTube page about the planning videos. Uh, and for those of you who've emailed to say how uh, useful they are. Um, some of you are suggesting new topics for further videos. Uh, and uh, this might be a bit tricky because so far we've relied a lot on computer mapping uh, and the queries you're asking about are much broader. However, I think we can, uh, I think we can help. I'm going to borrow uh, an idea that I've seen elsewhere on YouTube and we're going to have a series of question and answer sessions. So you email in uh, your questions and it can be anything about uh, route planning, uh, about accommodation, about the gear to use, uh, anything that really is at the back of your mind or you're a bit concerned about, feel free to email in. And the email link is coming up underneath here and it'll be in the show notes down below as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, enlist the help of uh, four or five fellow challengers, all of whom I know are pretty sensible people, and uh, that can give you their particular slant on your questions. Uh, and so the people I've chosen uh, to help me at, uh, at the beginning are, first of all, Rob Slade, who's a, a, a challenge mate of mine who won't be doing the event in 2018. Uh, he hasn't made the cut as yet. Um, and he thinks this way uh, is a way of keeping connected with the challenge and putting something back. Now, Rob is uh, one of these people who is really up to date with all the latest information about gear, and particularly uh, lightweight gear. So um, Rob's always got some interesting perceptions. Uh, next up is uh, Shap McDonnell. Shap is another uh, great challenger. Uh, and his roots are always interesting because, you know, he gives himself lots of time to explore the social side of the challenge. And then he disappears into the high hills for days on time and uh, enjoys a bit of solitary walking. Uh, and Shap is also uh, somebody very focused on, on gear. Um, and particularly ingenious, I think, in getting the best out of well-priced gear. Uh, next up is Laura Liddell. Now, Laura lives in the Highlands. Uh, she's walking there all the time. She'll have a very different approach to the first two as, you know, she takes a leisured walk across Scotland. Uh, but she's a quiet, kind of a wise old character uh, and I'm, I'm sure um, has a, a, a lot to contribute. And finally, I couldn't do a series like this without uh, involving my old mate Bob Cartwright from the Outdoor Station. Uh, Bob has a wealth of experience not only about walking but about gear he runs his own retail store online uh, and Bob is very focused on value for money uh, and uh, isn't slow in coming forward about sharing those places in the Highlands that he feels are kind of ripping us off. So that's our panel to start with and uh, depending on the questions we'll, uh, we'll seek out other people maybe who are experienced in, in dealing with these as well. Uh, one final thing I should point out that if you're really concerned about your roots remember that um, uh, you have to uh, submit your route to the TGO challenge and they then put those routes out to a team of very experienced route vetters um, who uh, can answer um, in-depth queries and have a lot of up-to-date knowledge about routes um, so at the moment we're looking at helping you getting going really um, and we'll try and uh, give the best advice that we can uh, but just remember the TGO route vetters and TGO uh, uh, management as it were are always there to help you as well anyway thanks for watching and uh, get your questions in uh, again I'll put the email down below here and uh, we'll see if we can help thanks for watching